welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Uh, this is the sprint version. It comes with a 1.4 liter petrol engine, 120 horsepower. And today it's all about review because the test drive I already make on my channel. If you want to see the test drive with the car, just check out on my channel, guys. I have the video there. If it's not already on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out. First of all, I want to start with the information about the car as always uh, I will give you the information then we'll go to the exterior interior and in this video you will find out everything you need to know about this uh, new Alfa Romeo Giulietta also if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the new cars that will come on the market so let me start by telling you a few information about the car so here we have Alfa Romeo Giulietta 1.4 liter Petrol engine, this is the Sprint version, by the way, keep this in mind. Uh, we are here at Gallicar Auto, I already add the uh, link in the description if you want to check them out. They have a great price on the cars in this uh, period. And you can see right here, even this Alfa Romeo Giulietta have a 7,000 francs discount, so it's an amazing price. But let me go to the beginning. So as I said, 1.4 liter, 120 horsepower. Uh, manual gearbox with six speed that's really good i love it guys check out the test drive if you want to see more information about it it's just insanely insanely good i like it very much it's one of the best gear shifter manual gear shifter that i use to be honest and going forward uh the co2 177 a little bit higher also the consumption a little bit higher 7.6 liter uh in my opinion but it's it's kind of a sporty car so you can expect about that uh also here you can see all the options we will go through together to all these options the starting price of the car is 27,300 francs i will add that price in dollars but with all those packs right here options the price will be around 30,000 minus 7,000 discount. Only here at Gallicar, you will have the final price 23,300 francs. A great price. I will add it in dollars as well. If you are in Switzerland or around Switzerland, just check them out because you may get a good deal. And um, yeah, with import taxes and all, you have to calculate. But yeah, it's not, it's not bad, really, not bad price. Good uh now that you already see that the car have 1459 kilograms and yeah as you can see here efficient class f is not so good uh, i think this is the only downside of the car is that uh it's not so uh, economical and also is not so uh friendly with the environment but other than that let me go outside and let me start with the exterior guys and to be honest, the back of the car looks super spectacular. They add on this sprint version some kind of elements, sporty elements that make the car insanely nice in my opinion. For example, the rims, 18 inch rims look just insanely good. It comes with Brembo uh, brake calipers, uh, ventilated brake discs in the front. Uh, insanely, insanely nice and sporty design. Uh, the bumper in the front, in the back lines uh, we have led light on the daylight um, xenon light on the low bin and high bin and in the back uh, full led but overall nice shape pretty smooth and nice in my opinion uh, it looks quite quite good now let me start with the lights first time and talk a little bit about uh, the lights guys so you can see right here the tail lights it's led light so you can see it's kind of a nine uh, and then you have the turning signals that are bulb light inside there then you have the reverse light bulb light and the fog lamp bulb light right here so overall this is the classic shape of alfa romeo on the tail lights uh, they look okay but they can still improve uh, a lot in terms of lightning also here on the number plate we have this uh, bulb light in yellow also i wish they were led light just keep in mind uh, it's yellow bulb light going forward up here on the roof spoiler it's kind of nice i like it very much the way they design it and also the 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 shape here up look really really interesting also here you have the the led light for the braking light and the radio antenna on the roof usually uh, it is a little bit longer just like that you have an antenna but i think the antenna is somewhere inside the car right now because the car is brand new uh, they didn't use it uh, until now going forward this is the 
the the light on the side usually the most of the card it has here it have it here on the mirror but this time alfa romeo on this julieta added on the body uh, on the side right here they are led and they look quite interesting it's a new shape new design different than what we see on other cars and i like it then you have this sprint logo here on the both sides so you know this is the sprint version and going in the front a round shape on the lights in the front we have kind of a uh, carbon fiber effect in the interior there i don't know if you can see it so well but they kind of shape a carbon fiber effect in the interior you have even the alfa romeo writing uh, inside there then you have the normal bolt light for the high bin then you have the low bin that are xenon light and then you have the daylight led and then you have the turning signals that are also uh, bulb lights so normal bulb so yeah i don't know the shape of them i wish they were a little bit different but they, they, i guess they are okay it looks like a formula like an old formula one car to be honest uh, it looks interesting i don't know interesting front of the car uh with all that uh, grill this this classic shape grill and yeah anyway let me close the lights and then we will continue i want to save some battery uh for later and then we will continue with the exterior design of the car guys so uh let me go here in the back so let me finish with the back of the car now in the middle you have the alfa romeo logo by the way it's pretty interesting how you can open the trunk so you can press it here just press it and then you open the trunk like that just keep in mind uh then you have the julieta logo here i like it very much that it's in a black glossy uh, plastic it looks really nice really nice beautiful shape uh, i like this line here and the shape here kind of a roof spoiler it remind me uh, a little bit of the suvs from alfa romeo it's it's nice we have four parking sensors in the back great great for parking because the car doesn't come with a reverse camera i think you can get it as an option but on this uh, model right here that i have doesn't have the reverse camera i like also those yellow elements that they added on the a few parts of the car even in the interior i will show you later the exhaust pipes are actually it's only one it's real in black glossy it looks really nice and the sound it's also very interesting on the car it sounds quite sporty and then you have this uh air diffuser plastic mat here that looks quite aggressive and sportly and i like it I like it to be honest i like uh the bumpers on the car they are they are quite quite spectacular and nice also some light reflectors very useful there and overall it's a nice design in the back here also some interesting lines uh another line that go on the side it's, it's quite a nice sporty design uh here is the the fuel tank on the right side keep in mind that it's on the right side and then going forward you can see the car it's quite aerodynamic if i zoom in a little bit quite of coupe you can see it comes a little bit down and you will see when we go inside um even the the head space it's a little bit um less because of this shape so they try to make it as aerodynamic as sporty as possible so i like that even it even the door here they take out the handle or the handle is up here i will go there a little bit later around the windows guys we have some rubber in black even here between some black uh matte plastic but big windows from one pieces we will go inside in a second and you will see how is the visibility i like even the handles the handles are super nice in combination this glossy plastic i think they did a great job that they add this glossy plastic on the mirrors glossy plastic on the handles uh the rims are in black it's a great combination even the writing it's a black glossy i like it and i like those handles really nice really slick and and super nice and also you can hear the quality of the door it's not bad great great quality uh also they add this skirt here i think if this skirt was in black glossy it will look much more interesting much more sportier i should say but i like very much this skirt down here plastic skirt also protect uh the down part of the car and also make the car more sportier and it make it looks much nicer going to the mirror also nice slick mirror like a bullet aerodynamic shape 
uh, it's quite smaller and here we don't have a blind spot technology i'm not sure if you can get it as an option but uh, it's quite big so the the visibility is good check out the other video with the test drive if you want to uh, find out more information right there great going in the front here also by the way guys the car doesn't come with a camera there for lane assist or for reading the traffic speed limit it actually it cannot read the traffic speed limit the it has it already integrated in the navigation i will show you later uh, but keep in mind that doesn't come with a radar and doesn't come with all that new technology so it's kind of a simple um, design it's just made for more to the driving experience and less to the technology and stuff like that so anyway going in the front those interesting lines and shapes in even on the hood it has two lines interesting lines right there um, i like the way it comes it makes sense it's unique model it's a round round shape you can see begin with the, those tail lights round shape round in the front um, you have the Alfa Romeo logo, the V shape, classic V shape, air intakes here, uh, air intakes down here as well. You can see uh, again this yellow insertion element down here and then you have the fog lamps down here. Those are also uh, LED and, and it's quite nice. The bumper, it looks really nice. Uh, it's classic for Alfa Romeo and it looks uh, quite interesting. So anyway, now let's go to the fun part. And the fun part, it's right here, 18 inch rims, guys. Look at them, amazing, amazing rims. Brembo uh, brake calipers in yellow. You can see Alfa Romeo writing there. You can see ventilated brake discs, amazing brakes. I drive the car before, it's, it's insanely good uh, in terms of brakes, even the pedals are super smooth and super nice. But uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Uh, at this price to have Brembo brakes and all that stuff uh, it's, it's quite quite crazy in the back you don't have ventilated discs you have just brake discs and also you have uh, this brake caliper holder uh, in yellow so it's quite interesting quite quite interesting guys the way it looks those yellow combination with black glossy with blue uh, it looks quite good on the car and I think it fits just perfectly uh, on this on this car now let me go to the engine bay let me show you the engine i know most of you are interested on this part right here um, okay guys so this is an automatic lift gate i didn't expect that and it feels quite good quality it's super simple to open by pressing this yellow element there so um, really cool that we have a an automatic lift gate and here is the engine 1.4 liter petrol engine 120 horsepower you can see alfa romeo turbo benzina that's petrol turbo um, and this is the engine here is the 12 volt battery the fuse box also liquid cooling and all that stuff anyway let's go in the back guys nice i like that I like the quality it's quite good i tell you they add some great great quality stuff in the car press this once open this up here we don't have automatic lift gate uh, but we have this uh trunk that it's quite impressively big and deep uh, we have some plastic at the entrance here with some lines um, and then look at this guys you have like 15 centimeter deepness it's crazy insanely deep. maybe more you don't have a flat floor but you have quite deep space here you have space on the left side you have space on the right side um, from here you can open also this uh, tank right there i think it should stay inside somewhere you have hooks for the grocery uh, also here you don't have any 12 volt port but you have a light a yellow light not LED uh, and then I know you're curious to find out what it's under the floor and let me show you what it's under the floor you have a big space here you don't have a space for a spare tire but you can have the repair kit and and so many things in terms of of practicality and the space here in the back is just insane so now let me take this protection it comes also with this protection for the trunk uh, right here let me take this out and then i will show you how it looks without it just take it out now you can see a little bit better you can make a better idea 
uh, the way it looks, the size of the trunk. In my opinion, it's a huge trunk. You can see it's a big entrance. The opening, it's a little bit uh, bigger and it's a little bit more on the front part. It's, it's more uh, like a sedan hatchback combination, but it's quite big, the entrance here. You don't have a flat floor, but you have insanely, insanely big space here. And you can see for yourself, uh, that it's it's quite big, quite quite big, probably the most spacious trunk in this class. Anyway, very big. Uh, now the only downside that I find out you cannot fold the middle part down here. You have to fold it 60-40. So uh, yeah, this is maybe the only downside that I find it until now. But if you want to carry long items, you have to fold this part separately, and then you can kind of uh, have the, the long items here and then in the same time two passengers right here it's not so comfy but it's quite okay now let me fold this down and then let's continue all right maybe i should go on the side here guys let me look a little bit let me put it forward just like that the headrest and then i think this is the maximum position that you can you can fold it down also if you take this like that this is the maximum position. You don't have a flat floor here, but still you have a big, big space. So let me close the door. Check this out. Pretty, pretty big space inside the car. It's, it's quite spacious. So you can make an idea the way it looks. It's not a flat floor, but you can carry, carry big, big items. And it's normal. You can have a flat floor when this floor here in the trunk is not at this size. Usually the car have it here, somewhere up here. And then they, they leave those seats a little bit upper and then you have a flat floor. But because they, they leave it all the way down, it's normal to be a little bit... Um, uh, upper like that so but trust me you have a huge space here uh, it's quite a big space where you can carry uh, probably uh, a lot of stuff without any problem so yeah you can make an idea for yourself if i go on the side here let me go inside also the entrance it's quite okay um, and then a little bit yeah as i said before because it's kind of a coupe and it's come down in the back it's not so tall the car in the back here so that's why probably you can hit it here um, it's, it's not straight away like that like usually the hatchback car it's a little bit downward so they try to make it more slicker more coupe look so um but that that's not a problem because you still have plenty plenty of uh, space to come inside the car here you can make a better idea the way it looks there also you have some storage space left down here on the legs room where you can put a lot of stuff when you fold down the seats and overall it's it's quite a good space no complaining in terms of space i think it's it's quite okay guys i don't know what do you think about that just write me down in the comments i will put everything back and then we will go inside we're continuing with the interior of the car before I go inside, I want to show you something that uh, I noticed. For example, this protection right here, it, it is very easy to put it back and take it off. And also the quality of it, it's much better than what you find in other cars, even more expensive cars. So that's, that's a thing, I noticed a few things in, in Alfa Romeo that the quality, it's, it's quite, quite good. I mean, even the sound of the trunk, it's, it's quite good. Now, the opening of the door is not so fun. I mean, it's not 90 degrees and that's why because of the shape, the coupe shape, uh, it's kind of a straight place to go inside here. It's not so, so a large space, but this is the door. Uh, it has even the door, it has this kind of round shape. You can see it, it's not straight. It's a little bit round, so they make the car super aerodynamic and they try to give it the best in terms of, of sporty looking and that's why the door is a little bit uh, inclined like that we will see the space when we go inside you have a big window right here from one pieces then you have the doors right here where you have actually this is i don't know how can i say it's a plastic but it's kind of a interesting plastic it feels quite uh, I don't know how to say, it's kind of a rubber, like a strong, very strong rubber. Uh, it's nice design, it looks nice, and it feels also interesting when you touch it. It's really interesting. Anyway, you have the handle, you have a speaker here, small speaker. Then you have this carbon fiber effect right here on the door and even here on the armrest. 
of course it's a strong material but i don't know guys how can i explain it? it's kind of a plastic but it's a kind of a soft little soft plastic uh it's it's really interesting really interesting you have to touch this uh, also you have the buttons for electric window so you can fold down the window let me show you how much you can fold it down almost completely it's left only a little bit of piece here but other than that you can fold it almost all the way down uh, and if you go down a little bit you have another speaker a big speaker right here so you have two speakers on the door and a little little space here for for the uh, storage space so that was the door not so much soft material but really interesting the way they design it the entrance in the car as i said quite okay going inside the seats although they are phenomenal i love those seats guys um, i mean they are they are insanely good great quality they they look phenomenal with these yellow stitches uh, they have alcantara in the middle uh, you have side support here you can see uh, alcantara you have isofix for child you can install two child seats here uh, you have a combination of uh, stuff material and alcantara so they they make it really good and they are wide enough they are long enough they are a little bit stronger so they are not so soft so you can see they are quite stronger so that's that's good for sporty driving so i tell you this car is it's in the sporty direction so they are they are quite think about sportiness and stuff like that when they they create this car also in the middle you don't have any center console uh, or any cup holders or stuff like that uh, also up here on the roof you have the light a normal bulb light it's right here on the roof the roof is in black and it's good quality i'll show you later uh, and behind the front seats you have stuff material you have some storage space here uh, behind the seats uh, you have these nice vents i like very much alfa romeo come first time i think on the market with those round vents and the quality it's great and it looks really unique and nice i think they should keep it like that because i like it here in the middle i was expect to have some kind of usb not sure if you can get it as an option but it will be nice to have a usb down there but other than that uh the transmission tunnel is not so big it's quite okay uh, other than that uh, everything look good i mean the interior quality it's it's really good and those seats are uh very very uh good quality i like them at least uh i like them very much now let me go forward guys uh going inside here now the seats my seat in the front it probably should be a little bit forward I think because I leave it all, I put it all over on the back. I need it a little bit on the back, but still you can make an idea. This one, it's a little bit forward. Maybe it's more realistic to go behind here so you can make a better idea. Yeah, you can see it in the front, the way they are uh, array there. So check this out now, the space, four or five fingers on my knees right here also you can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat so it's okay now look at the head space guys as i said before i have only two fingers and also because this round shape here they make it round and they try to make it aerodynamic as possible they try to make it like a bullet uh sporty and coupe you can see uh my head it's almost there two fingers yeah so yeah for tall people, it will be not so fun here. You still have a handle a hook here. But if I go a little bit forward like that, to be honest, the position is quite nice. And those seats are really good quality and they feel really good here. And the visibility, it's, it's, it's really good. I mean, I have a great visibility. I don't have any pillow, uh, pillow right here or stuff like that. Uh, and I have a good visibility, so that, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, let me go in the middle. Going in the middle, it's very easy because you don't have that big, huge transmission in the middle. And the space you can see right here, three fingers. Here we have four fingers uh, because this seat usually should be a little bit forward. You can see it from here that I, I leave it much on the back uh, for some pictures so that why it is like that but going up here now i have three or almost four fingers uh, in the middle stretch my hand yeah not so much even here on the side so 
two people here will be super comfy, super nice. Three people, maybe short trips will be okay. Uh, for long trips, I don't know. Maybe a child in the middle will be okay. But surprisingly, you don't have so much space in the left and right, but surprisingly, the quality and the, and the comfort in the middle here, it's good. I mean, I feel really good here in the middle. Um, I like it. Yeah, anyway, strange. Now, let me go forward. Uh, here in the in the front you have also this armrest that you can adjust it and use it The only downside with this armrest guys is that if you want to pull the handbrake when you are there It stay in your way. So you have to put it back and then put pull the, the handbrake down or up and then you can put it back and drive forward. So that's maybe the only downside that I find out while I'm I was driving the car other than that it's 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 just pretty good uh we will go in the front and i will show you a little bit the multimedia system the dashboard the cockpit the steering wheel we will talk a little bit about the details in the front there and then uh yeah we will end up this video so let's go in the front guys okay so in the front here we have a big window from one pieces so you should have a good visibility on the mirror at least on the upper side of the door the same quality as in the back if you look closely you can see the trim uh, it's plastic but it's it's well made it's nice interesting trim handle in chrome then you have another speaker a little bit bigger than in the back and another speaker so you have two speakers on every door uh, that's quite nice so you should have a, a pretty good sound inside the car the same carbon fiber effect here in this area where your armrests are and also you have the handle you have the buttons right here uh, for the windows uh, you have uh, the adjustment for the mirror electrically adjustment uh, from interior and then you have some storage space quite small storage space which was a little bit bigger and yeah that's the door it's it's not so big difference from the from the door in the back so yeah overall it's okay uh going forward something i don't know alfa romeo this this julieta it's kind of a combination between um good quality materials and not so good quality materials so you you kind of surprised to see some things that are super premium and some things that are quite cheap so that's that's the thing guys i mean uh, you have some cheap materials and you have some amazing premium material so it's an interesting combination but in this price i think it's totally deserved the, the car then at the entrance you have this alfa romeo uh, aluminum here that it looks super super premium and, and nice and uh, i don't even need to tell you on those pedals that in my opinion they are the most beautiful pedals in a car that i see it until today I don't know the shape of them the fact that they put that Alfa Romeo logo on every single pedal every single element there they they make it really beautiful I don't know if on the video you can see it so well but I tell you they are they are the best they are my favorite pedals on a car until today um, to be honest now going forward to the seats in the front also amazing amazing seats they look really premium and they feel really premium to be honest um, i like it much more than what i see in much more expensive cars also the dashboard there they should work a little bit more uh, about different elements we will talk in a moment but let me finish with the seats you have manual adjustable seats you can adjust it in every position you want you have heated seats this is the button for the heated seats so you can hit your seats from here uh, but guys you have alcantara here in the middle you have stuff material on the upper side you have these yellow elements yellow stitches here uh, that they combine also with the carpet julieta you can see in yellow you can see the elements in yellow outside the stitches on the steering wheel it's in yellow you can see it right there uh, it looks really really good to be honest and also the alcantara here this the seats are quite strong and stiff and even down here so they try to make it as sporty as possible but i drive the car if you want to see the test drive you can check it out on my channel and they are super super uh comfortable and great quality even here on the headrest you have this alfa romeo logo that look insanely nice and uh, make the the seats much more uh fancier in my opinion anyway 
here you have kind of a storage space a huge storage space where you can put even your phone for example if i have the phone with me i should show you that you can see you can stick the phone i have the s10 you can leave even your phone right there so it's it's quite a big useful space then going up a little bit you have this carbon effect right here on the dashboard look nice also you have the vents right here you can control uh, and adjust the way you want it and it looks nice with the chrome design around it it's quite small but it looks nice then you can set here the different function on the dash and then uh, all over the dash you have plastic that's something to keep in mind from the beginning but uh, it's not bad, it's a good layout, so in terms of visibility, uh, it's, it's quite good. So, let me go inside. Going inside, the sound insulation inside the car is very good. I tested before also in the test drive and it's, it's really good sound insulation. The visibility on the windows, you can see right here, it's, it's quite okay. Um, you feel like in a sporty car, it remember me a lot of BMW 1 Series in terms of visibility. Also, you can see one more time, the seats in the back are just insanely nice. Um, here in the middle, you have the center armrest, uh, that it's fabric material. You can open this up to put here some elements and you can put it up just like that. Then you have two cup holders manual handbrake with yellow stitches 12 volt port um, plastic everywhere here then up a little bit you have this um, gear shifter is my favorite also i should say that this gear shifter guys i don't make any advertising or stuff like that while far Romeo, but this gear shifter it's one of my favorite that i see it and test it in in a manual car until today it's insanely great great grip nice to to control and you can change the gear super easy it's super controllable and super sporty it's insane so great job alpha i love this keep it like this on the manual cars at least uh it's insanely nice uh and then you have those stitches then you have here the, the changing uh, modes, driving modes. You have the DNA, classic DNA for Alfa Romeo. All you have to do is just press a few seconds up and you can change the modes. Right now you are in the dynamic mode. You can see right there, performance, sport, it give you the best performance. Then you go in natural mode. Then you have the echo, give you the best economy and stuff like that. And then you have the all weather kind of a traction. They, they try to, to work more plus traction plus stuff like that so in the winter time it's, it's quite good neutral natural mode is the best way to go if you want to drive uh, economical so you can change it from here and even this changer here looks super sportier and nice and then it's it's crazy that's why i tell you some elements are super it's super nice in this car then you have the parking sensors uh i think this is the start stop engine button then you have the usb port auxiliar and then here no storage space i don't know why they didn't make a storage space here here is just a plastic like that i can't go more than that i wish there inside will be kind of a space for your phone for example um yeah guys the visibility from the driver point of view it's quite okay uh you, you can have a good visibility i wish although this steering wheel to be a little bit smaller it's too big for me i mean for me man i mean it's it's too big uh the quality it's insanely insanely good i know there are there are some people that love those kind of steering wheel but for me it's quite big if i buy this car i will totally change this steering wheel because it's too big for me i don't know alpha just make it smaller next time please Okay, other than that, amazing quality. I like it. I like the leather. I like the grip. Uh, it's insanely good. Um, then you have the Alfa Romeo. Then you have the controllers here for the voice. Uh, and then the sound. And then here you have some controllers um, for the, for the uh, telephone, for the radio. You can change the station, the radio station there. Behind the steering wheel, I don't know if you can see it here. You have this controller for the cruise control. So you can turn it on and off. And from here you can set the speed, you can see it even there on the screen, it will appear, something like that. Uh, but overall, it's nice, it's nice, it's okay. You can also adjust the steering wheel, of course, from down here, 
the way you want it down up right left you can adjust it the way you want you have the classic starting engine you don't have a start stop engine button stuff like that so you can start it you have to start the car um, classic in the classic way and the cockpit of course it's the classic one i wish it was different you have the torometer speedometer and all that info in in a classic way so yeah i wish although to be a little bit different um, they still use this old uh, uh, function maybe in the new julieta will be more more interesting you still have a digital screen there i think you can see it a small one where you can see the consumption and different information about the car you can set different things service and stuff like that but overall um yeah it's, it's quite okay it's quite okay good now that you see the cockpit let's go forward guys let me show you the glow box here i was surprised to see that the glow box it's huge 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 super long check this out i, I can reach it out and i push the book inside there so much it's so crazy it's insanely big the glow box it's it's number one i love it another thing that i love and also plenty of space and storage space is there where you can put different stuff oh by the way here is the antenna i tell you it's inside the car somewhere anyway yeah all right good great now guys let's go forward i like very much this climatic system by the way it's very nice to adjust and simple from here you can adjust super super easy you have also dual climatic zone uh, you have defrosting you have also this uh, for folks on the, on the defrosting on the window uh, then you have the manual adjustment you can turn it off and on from here super simple up and down wherever you want the air to go you can adjust it from here uh, overall it's a nice system i like it i like it it's simple perfect the way it should be and also i like this chrome design here around the circles button going up here we have some buttons for lock and unlock the car fog lamps uh, fog in the front in the back um, then you have the the multimedia system right here in the middle we will talk at the end about it uh, going up we have those vents pretty nice vents i like the way they integrated the button for the blinkers you have some storage space even here like like a bigger cars i like that i like that you have some vents even there i like those vents they go directly on the windshield so it will defrosting will work really fast in this car um, and overall the carbon fiber effect on the dash here look quite interesting um, to be honest i like the way it looks it's not bad uh, and yeah um, up here guys we have the mirror i like the mirror it's big it's square it's huge so you have amazing visibility in terms of visibility it's perfect up here on the roof you have some light normal bulb light so no led and you can see right there the controllers for the light um, and other than that let me show you here you have a mirror with a light a normal yellow bulb light good quality and also on the roof you have pretty good quality very very good quality on the roof um, i like in terms of quality it's it's super premium now let me go to the multimedia system it's not super fancy you have a small small screen here where you can change different function you have also the brightness here you have the settings physical button for the settings you can change the language you can change the time the the, the hour the light information you can go back here you have here physical button for radio media i like those physical button they get you directly where you should go in the directly in that settings phone application here so you have the apps here um trip apps and stuff like that you can see here consumption on the last trip and stuff like that trip a trip b navigation card info you can go to map here you can see the navigation uh, you have a touch screen it's not super responsive to be honest um, alfa romeo have to improve it a lot on the next uh, version so yeah anyway not so much to talk about that let me close the climatic system uh, this is the screen this was the car i don't think i miss anything guys anyway uh if i miss something just write me down below i read your comments i will also answer to you if you have any question about this uh new 
or new or old alfa romeo giulietta uh, thank you very much for watching my video really appreciate that i hope it was useful for you guys uh, in my opinion as a conclusion if you need a sporty budget car with a lot of uh, nice premium elements like a gear shifter uh, i like it like pedals like the seats I think it totally deserved the car. Also, you have these dynamic modes and different free driving modes that give you the, the perfect feeling. Uh, if you want to find out more information about how is to drive, check out the test drive on my channel. Um, the car, it feels really sporty. And yeah, it's a sporty budget car. This is the word. This is the conclusion. Those are free words. Um, anyway, guys, I hope it was helpful. I hope you can use some uh, information from this video. If you like the video, please like it, share it. Also subscribe if you want to see the newest car, newest videos that come on my channel. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video, guys. Um, I guess um, if you like the music in the video, you have the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.